Hey, what is up, viewers? My name is DK, and welcome to another episode of Seven. So, last episode, we just met Asmodeus Luxurious. We got a little bit of a sweet memory, and now we have to choose between going left or right to meet whoever the next deadly sin is. Apparently, both will take us where we need to go, but uh, we have to pick one. So, I'm gonna say pick left. You clutch the handle of the door to your left, opening it and walking into a long hallway of doors. You note that the door you hadn't chosen opens uh, up into the same exact hallway. Oh, okay. Oh, so funny story about why I chose left. So, I was actually born a left-handed person. However, um, this is just one de just, just, what a, just decaying hallway. This is terrible looking. Anyway, I was born left-handed, but uh, the school I went to actually forced me to write with my right hand. So I, I'm, I'm kind of ambidextrous in that sense, so I can use both my left hand and right hands. Um, some, some things are better with left hand, some things are better with right hand. But I thought that was a funny little story, I thought, or fun little story, not really funny. Fun little story I thought I'd tell you guys, a little bit of insider information about me. Anyway, it never really mattered which door you took after all. Okay, well, I guess not. It was an excuse for me to tell you guys a good story, though. You began to walk towards the uh, what? You began to walk towards the doors that lined the long hallway, and notice that each one said uh, I had a number on it. Oh, I just had a coughing fit. The first door logically had the number one emblazoned upon its front. Okay. However, the second door had a one as well. The first sequence of doors went as such: one, one, two, three, five. Okay. Should I write this down? I'm just going to write this down just in case. I have my handy dandy uh, uh, SDSK notepad, which is actually really, it looks pretty cool. So uh, I'll write it upon that. 11235. Then you come upon the sixth door. <gasps> what is upon the sixth door? It seemed that the number had been scratched out of the wood. You do a little further. What? You do a little further of note. What? To note the rest of the door's numbers. What? Oh, okay. It seemed that the door's uh, numbers scratched out of the wood. You go a little further to note the rest of the door's numbers. I can't read, like I said. I'm apparently unable to read. Oh, so the next, the second sequence of doors are 31, 21. Uh, th I'm writing it down, that's why I'm like. Uh, 34 and 55. Also, my handwriting is terrible, apparently. There is no door at the end of the hallway, and the only doors without numbers are the ones you came through, the sixth and the sixth door. You go back to the damaged door that you guess may be the exit. Alright, so I'm back to this door. Taking a deep breath, you hold your fist up to the door and wrap uh, knuckles upon the wood twice. Oh. Hello? Is anyone there? No. Nothing. Silence. Just as you begin to turn away, you hear a voice through the door. Who disturbs me? Oh. Is it important? This is a rather inopportune time. What are you doing in there? Sin? Is this the exit? Asmodeus sent me this way. Asmodeus sent you? <sighs> you must be chance. You really gonna speak this slowly, this man? This is indeed the way out. Part of it, anyway. This man is dying as he's speaking. Who had this 90 year old man do a voiceover, huh? Can you help me? God damn it. The masculine voice behind the door. I can hummed. help you in hummed. many ways. No, I only want one way, and that's to, to get out of here. I don't need any more help. Are you? That's just weird, man. Really? Really? Just as after I call you a ninety-year-old man, you can ask me if you can do favors. I need a way out of here. What other help would I need? Exactly. Your voice is littered with impatience. You want to get back home, dreaming of Rose. You want to be as far away from this dark, dangerous place as you possibly can. Perhaps you would like to learn more about yourself. Chance. You know much about the recent years of your life. You know 
about the love of your life. Rose. This man is dragging it out. You know. Oh my god. Your job. But what of your family? That is what I can offer you. Okay, we're good. You sit there, stunned. You have been so blinded by the ambition to get back to Rose that you haven't attempted to remember anything else beyond her. Did you have a family? Of course. You must have parents. What do they look like? Well, would you like to take a chance? Oh, so, such a... <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, my we'll God. God damn it. A part of your All these family. these fuckers think they're funny. Again. What are you doing in there, huh? Touching yourself, old man. God damn. Trying. What do I have to do? Control F4, my friend. That's all I'm saying. You know the ropes now, and there is always... Is that is that Control F4 to close a window? I don't know. Anyway, you know the way... Uh, uh, what? There's... Uh, you know the ropes now, there's always a catch. Uh, always something that have been... Uh, what? That you have to do before seeing another memory. I'm sorry, I just clicked my pen. Let me just... It's quite simple. Okay. You just God damn have it. to tell me... What Works number my door should have on it? Oh my god. If you can tell me what number it should have, I will let you in. And you can meet will get another one. Is this okay? We're done. You step back from the scarred uh, door and glance at the sequence of door, uh, uh, doors the last time. First is one one two three five. The door you stand before, then thirteen twenty one, thirty four and fifty five. What's your answer? Oh, I almost clicked on it. So clearly, it's one one two three five. Hmm. Ah, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say thirteen. Leonardo. Pisano, Bigo, God damn it! Would most certainly. <laughs> it took me forever to guess that, man. You. For that is not the number that he chose for my door. Is this like a you number sequence? Have missed this lonesome opportunity to see your brother. Oh shit! Before. The end of your time here. This is where we this part. The door to your left, number five. Part. We'll give you to meet. The, all right. It seems God damn it. that you need more wits than luck. Oh fuck off, chance. It seems you need some five-hour energy, sooner douchebag. Then later, or else you risk recovering the memories. You have lost. Wait a minute. Please don't tell me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This was literally... Ah. Uh, so, okay. I think if, uh... It was the Fibonacci... Was it the Fibonacci sequence? I think it was. So it was 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. And then 18, 21, 34, 55. God damn it, man. Shit. Shit. It was a Fibonacci sequence. Fuck. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> you start before turning the knob of a number five. I never did catch your name. Names do not hold much meaning around here for me. However, well, I'm an idiot. If you care to know, I am the one they call Beelzebub. All right, you're done. The last laugh is your face. Away. Just shut up. I'm revealing a much better lit room. That was the that was the worst guy ever. 
All right, so I was tempted to end the video here, but I'll keep going just because I feel like that was a little too short. The candles flickering on shelves, bathing the room in, a war in warmth. It is a pleasant reminder that you have that you only have three more of the seventh seven to meet you before you can leave. Rose, you must get to her. Anything could happen to you. What? Anything could have happened to you, and she must be terrified because of it. You have to get back to your to your angel, your sweetest Rose. What is that? You notice that the only part of the room that is controlled by shadows is where a hole has been cut out in the floor, a ladder leading down into the murky depths. You instinctively know that that's where you, uh, you are headed, and your determination takes a hold. You down into the depths you go, but not before I shall save. There we go. Let's go down. This reminds me of Dark Souls for some reason. I don't know why, it just reminds me of Dark Souls. Whoa! What is this funky thing, huh? You must reach the oh, you reach the bottom of the ladder and you find yourself in another room of stone with what? This one without corners. The curved room was uh what? The curved room was has one door, and as you near it, you notice that even the door is curved to follow the shape of the room. Interesting. As you touch the handle, a soft voice behind you speaks. I have nothing for you. <gasps> you may as well leave. Hey, don't you dare say that to me. You turn. Nothing. The small shadows dancing across... What? Oh, you turn, noting the small shadows dancing across this round ceiling. Who is that? I am Leviathan. <gasps> Leviathan? Isn't that monster? Or... What do you mean that you have nothing for me? Sea monster? Do you not have a memory for me? I certainly do have a memory for you. I just will, will give you nothing, nothing that you were looking for. Oh. Oh? And exactly what am I looking for? You know, for being stuck in a in a purgatory hell thing and just getting the Fibonacci sequence wrong, I'm a pretty good cocky guy. <laughs> everyone comes here looks for sense, sense of, of peace. peace. Oh, wow. Yes, your beautiful voice, my lady. The memory that you your have name's scary. will not help me in any way? I did not say that it wouldn't help you, but the price for it is strife. This memory will only give you grief. No! Fill you with confusion. No! Don't you dare say something like what Rose is dead! What do I have to dead. do for you to show it to me? I will give it to you freely. Huh. The gift of agony is no gift at all. I have warned you oh, that shit. it will you. But if oh, you still shit. want to see it, the choice is yours. Oh, I'm not I'm not ready for it. Ah, I have a feeling it's gonna be like someone like I think it's gonna be Rose dying or something like Ah yes, I wanna see it. You are not usually one to seek truth. Oh. But I see that your memories are precious to you. Brilliant. What are we all without memories? It's very true. Very well. Take deep breaths. It may hurt less. <sighs> okay, I'm ready for this. Why is it red? You blink and you find yourself at the entrance of your apartment. There are roses in your hand. You are putting your uh, you're putting your keys away. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, this is not good. Wait, I just realized what this could be. God damn it! There are roses in your hand. You are putting your keys away. You are uh, getting to, going to surprise uh, Rose while she is on her way to work today. You know that she always grabs coffee at 7.45 every Tuesday, Thursday morning uh, on her way to work. Her path takes her to the bus stop. Her bus comes to pick her up at 8.10 a.m. on the dot. You would catch her before any of that happens. You've got roses in one hand and a drink carrier with two coffees in the other. Walking down the stairs of your apartment building... Oh, well, yeah, walking down the stairs of your, uh, of your apartment building, the cold air of Seattle hits your face. Oh God. Setting off down the sidewalk, you hum to yourself. The coffee is actually from the coffee shop where you and Rose had your first date. And at, this, at the very same coffee shop the two of you had ordered. Oh, in the very same coffee, that's what I meant. You were nearly at the coffee shop when your eyes fell upon her. Rose was apparently early by a minute or two that day. She was radiant, her hair was flowing and her eyes shining. Your sweetest rose. It was stuck at a crosswalk while you watched her head closer and closer to the door of the coffee shop. Her eyes fixated. Oh, your eyes fixated upon her. You noted that she laughed in these moments. What? How she laughed in those moments. 
Before turning to the man beside her and taking his hand in hers, he opened the door for her and they both headed into the shop. You... I knew it! Your blood turned into ice and the Seattle wind biting at your more easily, it seemed. It was probably just a friend of hers. The crosswalk might light beat and you propel into motion heading into the glass front of the coffee shop. The glass front was not tinted and gave both customers these uh, and both go what and gave both customers and those outside an excellent way to people watch. No, 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 no. Two of them were standing beside one another, rather close. You thought to yourself. Then the forgivable happened. They kissed. No. You watched as the man le uh, leaned down to whisper in your fiance's ear, and she smiled at him. Her gaze was like a pair of twin suns while looking at him before she leaned up to kiss his chastely, uh, him chastely on, on the mouth. She kissed him. Your sweet rose. She kissed that man. He probably knew that she was yours, but he didn't care. It's a secret affair they seem to be enjoying. How dare he think that he could steal Rose away from you? He schemed this beautiful. Uh, he, he schemed this from the start. He was probably pushed into the whole thing. Your kind, beautiful, gentle Rose. You would make him pay for trying to make or take her away from you. She dropped the drink carrier, a hot coffee, and red pel uh, petals pouring into the sidewalk. You crushed the dozen rose, uh, ruby petals as you turned the, and ran all the way back home. The vision fades from your sight and melts into your mind. Dude! Fuck's sake! This is why Seriously! I to you freely. This is not something I would care to remember. <sighs> Some things are better left forgotten. What's what's left now? Literally, that was the only motivation. Fuck's sake, man. Ah. <sighs> well. Like let's I continue. Said, I truly had nothing for you, Chance. The door ahead will take you to the last room that you shall be trapped in. After you speak with Emin, the last of us will give you choice. It is the one that you will have to make on your own. You take a deep breath and open the door. In con what? In ensconced? I don't even know how to say that word. In light. You are basically covered in light, I guess. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna end it here for this episode of Seven. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That was uh, a, a pretty insane plot twist. Uh, very interesting. I, I knew it was either going to be she was cheating on you or the fact that there maybe something happened to her, like she, you know, she died or something like that. But that was that was that was, that was interesting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to like it for button below. Uh, of course, you guys can leave a comment below or tweet at me. How are you guys doing? How was your day? Let me know with a comment below. Uh, that didn't really make sense. I said comment below what you would, how are you doing, and then comment that below. Uh, anyway. You know what to do. Uh, subscribe goes to for more awesome videos. That way, whenever the next episode, which will probably be the last episode of 7 goes up, you will be notified on your sub box. Thank you guys for watching once again. My name is SDSK, and I will see your beautiful faces on the flip side.